Ahem. When's Ratchet and Clank 3? When's Ratchet and Clank 3? Hey Turner, are you doing Ratchet and Clank 3? Hmm, I'd really like Ratchet and Clank 3 right now. Well, guess what? You can all shut up, because we're doing Ratchet and Clank 3, and we're doing it right now! Hey guys, it's Turner4590, and welcome to Let's Play Ratchet and Clank 3, my favorite Ratchet and Clank game. Or is it? You know, when I Let's Play Ratchet & Clank 2 uh, a year and a half ago, it made me realize just how good Ratchet & Clank 2 is, so I'm really excited to play 3 again because I remember this one being the best. So, let's head right in and uh, start what is definitely considered by the majority to be the best Ratchet & Clank game, and uh, with good reason. This one's really good. So, let's uh, start a new game. <laughs> and, as you can see, uh, I'm assuming that's a time count there, I've put... 54 hours into this across a couple memory cards. So the 54 hours isn't even accurate. Like, I've probably spent over 100 hours playing this game uh, total since I first got it, which was probably like 2005. Uh, this game is a decade old this year, by the way, so that's pretty cool. Um, but we're obviously not going to uh, overwrite that glorious file uh, that I've spent the last decade trying to uh, complete. And I'm pretty sure I did get 100% on it, actually. I don't know. Anyway, uh, we're going to start a brand new game. <laughs> My Blargy and Snaggle Beast devours your mutant swamp fly. Oh, yeah. I bet you didn't see that one coming. Hey, uh, what are you doing? Check and mate. What? Th 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 that's cheating. They have space the contrary, chess? The rules clearly state that the bloggy and snaggle beast has an allergic reaction to swamp flies that last two turns. Check out Ooh, my D and D it is character. On again. You've got to be kidding me. <laughs> Your luck is extraordinary, sir. But do you lose? Why isn't he petting a robot kitty? Will? I would not know, Maximilian. I never lose. Maximilian! Roboticist! For everything. Agent Clank! Whoa! I know Kung Fu! I'm done. <laughs> Bring the car around, Jeeves. <laughs> he calls him Jeeves too. <laughs> oh, that's Stay great. Tuned for more secret agent Clank. Mind the car, Jeeves. <laughs> that was terrific. Yeah, great. Change the channel, please. Uh, but the man Do said it. to stay tuned. <laughs> they don't tell you that for nothing. We continue our live coverage from Belden. Wait, Just Belden. hours ago, the that name sounds was familiar. Without warning, by a terrifying alien race known as the Tyranoids. <laughs> Officials believe <laughs> that an evil robotic supervillain known as Doctor Nefarious Whoa. is the mastermind behind the Tyranoid attack. Uh, as you can see, the Galactic nefarious. Rangers are putting up a valiant fight, but they are no match for these tentacle-eyed terrors. Indeed, this backwater planet may be completely Oh no, not Darla Grat. No, please. Don't Oh, she's gonna Oh man. <laughs> she always dies. We're going home. Oh. But found it. Yeah. Is in a Grat is not gonna let his his home planet be destroyed. Oh no, not the gravimetric warp drive. <laughs> the untested gravimetric warp drive. The one you built from bloggy and scrap metal? <laughs> Coming? I built it from Drex's robot corpse from Ratchet 1. You were saying? I stand corrected. I just hope we're not too late. Ah, these loading screens. Now we're back in the Solania, ga Soliana Galaxy, which is probably why uh, there's not m nearly as many stars out there. Uh. And we're in. Mm. Thanks, game. And we're in! Greetings, client 918. Uh, it's help desk! Uh, 
So, this is Ratchet and Clank 3. The controls are, uh, one second. Sorry, I just wanted to, uh, change my, uh, vertical camera movement. It was, uh, I wanted to invert it, or normalize it, or whatever it is. This is Ratchet and Clank 3. It's exactly the same. And unfortunately, Ratchet and Clank 3 doesn't really improve on, well, it does, but right off the bat, it doesn't really improve on anything else that Ratchet 2 didn't. Like, in Ratchet 2, like, you could notice right away a bunch of changes they made, but, like, strafing is still here, and, like, it basically is just, it's still all the great changes that Ratchet 2 made, except it's a brand new game. So, uh, let's, uh, go. Home Planet of Elden, we haven't been here since Ratchet 1. So, uh, that's fun. These must be the Galactic Rangers. Ah, hey, uh, Huh? Hey, Sarge, you can have my gun. There's too many No, have my gun! Press circle to uh, the Galactic faster. Rangers. I'll get into them later, but yeah, we got our first gun, and it isn't a bomb glove this time. It's just straight up a... a, um... Whatchamacallit? It's a... just a, like a... blaster, like that. Shock blaster, exact, to be... to be exact. It's a shock blaster. Um, and yeah, it's a fun gun. Um... What was, uh... Oh, and right off the bat, we also have, uh, Clank. Oh, wait a minute. God damn it. Give me another second. <laughs> Let me just go here, and you can switch to the thruster pack instantly, which is, um... Which is the exact same as a heli pack. It's just, um... Cosmetic, but why would you not have the thruster pack? It just looks so much better. Use the glide and boost jumps. It's the exact same. Just, yeah. In Ratchet 1, it did have an advantage over the heli pack, but not anymore. Am I glad to see you, Sarge? We're pinned down by that enemy vehicle. Somebody's gotta take it out. Let me guess. That somebody is me. We got a volunteer. Here, Sarge, take this. We'll cover you from back there. <sighs> Remember when I said we didn't get a bomb glove? I lied. <laughs> the gravity bomb, I believe it's called. Nitro launcher. Oh, that's not even. Using the nitro launcher against that vehicle. Already did help desk. Thanks for the help, desk. Uh, yeah, the Nitro Launcher is your bomb glove, gravity bomb, etc. It's a bomb launcher, and it's extremely powerful, so we'll use that on the big guys. To select weapons, hold triangle, and select an icon with the left analog stick. You know, I was go- <laughs> Oh my god, I pressed triangle to try and do a heavy attack, God of War style. God damn it. Uh... Hold L1 to precisely- Thank you, help desk. Um... What was I saying? The, um... Yeah, the... Crap, what was I saying? Yeah, it's basically a bomb glove, and... Yeah. Um... And weapons, uh, will level up. They have level up meters right below them, as usual. And right about below our health is also a level up meter for our health. Which is no longer, um... What's it called? Uh... It's no longer, like, little bars. They just straight up said, screw that, we'll just give you a health number. Which, um, I guess I like the health number more. It cleans up the HUD. It definitely cleans up the HUD. There's not a giant bar of shapes uh, in the way now. So, I, I guess that's nice. Just exploring these side areas just to see if there's any hidden stuff. Nah, no, it doesn't look like it. Okay. Uh, feels, it honestly feels really good to be playing a Ratchet game again. And let's try strafing! Yeah. Honestly, like, strafing is probably the best mechanic they added in this series. Shit! Oh my, how'd that, how'd that happen? Uh, I think that gunship that just dropped those two guys, I think you can destroy it, but I'm pretty sure there's no way you can destroy it until New Game Plus, which this game does have. Uh, challenge mode again, and uh, a ton of different weapons for you to use, and it's... Uh, you gotta give this series credit for having crazy replayability, considering I've put over 60 hours into it. Very good game. Oh, whoa! There we go. Uh, no hidden, hidden goodies right now. Uh, pretty sure we don't have charge boots. Uh, no, we do not. That's a shame. Charge boots are fun. Your maximum nanotech level has increased. Yeah! And, uh, yeah! 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 Uh, and when we, uh, get a maximum nanotech increase, um, I'm guessing, like, every five levels or so, we get a super increase, which does a screen wipe, where it just kills every enemy on the screen, but, uh, that time it did not. 
Maybe it's randomized whether you get a screen wipe or not. I'm actually not sure. I should probably look into that. Not that it really matters. It's not that helpful. Maybe during arena battles. Hey, Galactic Ranger, screw off! Uh, yeah, the Galactic Ranger. the camera controls in the up. Thank you, help desk. I know what a camera is. God damn it! Whoa, frame rate drop. Yeah. The more the series gets on, the more like the more polygons they put into it, and starts slowing down a bit more. But believe me, it's nothing like you'll be seeing in Deadlocked when I get to that game. You can slow down the game so much in one part that it will actually crash the game. So I'm looking forward to showing that off. I hope I get that uh, that uh, legendary game crash. But that's a different game for a different time because we're on the much better three cool and not the four cool or the quad quadrill. I'm actually not sure what the fourth in a series is called. It's like a sequel, a trilogy. Is it just called a quadrilogy? Is it called a series? I don't know. Write in the comics below. Like, comment, and subscribe! It really helps me out! Uh, here's Quark. Uh, you might notice that it actually looks familiar. This is because, uh, yeah. Does this look familiar? <laughs> uh, this is, like, the Vista from the very beginning of Ratchet & Clank 1. Here's our house. Uh, over here is where Ratchet was repairing the ship. Over there is the bridge that we go across. It's really, really cool. Anyway, let's head inside. What's the situation? The Noids have fallen back to a base in F Sector. We have orders to go in and take him out. F Sector? No way. Game over, man. We're all gonna end up as scrap metal. Get back in there, trooper. We've got a planet to save. Sir, yes, sir. I wonder who the voice actor for the Galactic Ranger is. Because they sound familiar. Very roboticized, obviously, but they sound familiar. <sighs> Blast away! Okay, and here's one of the coolest mechanics they added. Skydiving! Yeah, these sections are really cool, and basically just them showing off. Like, hey look, we can load this entire level in uh, in one go. And yeah, you get to see the Galactic Ranger buddies just disintegrate in front of you, so that's kind of cool. In case you don't like them that much. Uh, let's uh, try the Shock Blaster, because we haven't been using it enough. Yeah. Yeah, let's try some manual aiming. Uh, oh, that's weird. You can't, um... You can't move around while aiming. What's a game I recently played where you could move around while aiming? Uh, Wind Waker, I guess. They added that in HD. But that... Whoa! Big Tyranoids! God damn it, get away from me! We get 30 shots in this thing, so that's plenty. Uh, you might notice that, uh... Actually, you know what, I'll get into that when it's, uh, more relevant. I was gonna talk about the level-up system, but, uh, I'll talk about that later. I was trying to shoot the Galactic Rangers! Yeah. Thankfully, they really stand out, and, um... I'm not sure if there are any levels that penalize you for having them die. I don't think there are, I could be wrong, but yeah, they're... They're pretty much useless. <laughs> Okay. What was that? Oh. Coming up from over there. Yeah! I'm glad they kept the system for Match It 2 where it counts up the amount of bolts that you're collecting at that current moment and then adds it to your total. Uh, that's kind of cool because you can see, like, in this batch we got 365 bolts and didn't just add it to the counter right away. I like that. It just lets you know how much money you're actually getting. And it really is cool on challenge mode when you're getting tens of thousands of bolts at once. Okay. Oh, let's head on through. I missed the charge boost, damn. Thanks, help desk! You're the worst. Okay, uh, let's wait. There we go. Only two for those guys. And, uh, that's it. We're at the end. Sir, we have a transmission from the president. How are things on the front line, soldier? Is, is that secret agent Clank? I did not so. have sexual yeah, relations with that well, Lombax. This is an honor, and I see you brought your chauffeur along. What? No, no, no. 
Hold on a second, sir. Agent Clank, we must stop Dr. Nefarious. As you may know, only one man has ever faced him and survived. Ew. I've just received a top secret report on that man's whereabouts. Here, take a look. Who would... Who could possibly be him? On tonight's him? episode of Nature's oh my God, Mystery, one of the best we in this examine the Florana tree beast. Deep in the dense growth of Florana's Jambu forest lives a mysterious creature. Or maybe he doesn't. It's <laughs> one of Nature's Mysteries. I've seen him run right through our camping site. He was buck naked, screaming and holding a banana. Or, or maybe it weren't a banana. It could be on the Nature's <laughs> Legend tells that this mysterious creature is what actually the hell? one of the greatest superheroes who ever lived. Shamed by his recent past, he is now one of Nature's Mysteries. <laughs> Tune in and find out the answers. Next time! We need you to find this man. The fate of the galaxy may depend on it. Are you sure this is the guy you're looking for, Mr. President? Yeah, he seems like kind of a, you know, wacko. You may be right. He was holding the banana. The chance we've got. I know you boys won't let me down. You can count on us, sir. <laughs> See ya, Veldon. Even though there's enemy ships everywhere, I don't care. I'm Ratchet.